like that bit Santa? That's about you. <laughs> oh, hello there. I'm William McInnes, and I'm about to do a festive reading from my new book, Christmas Tales. And it's all about the strange presents that you can receive from a friend who's been tempted to use his sense of humour after watching too many late night telemarketing commercials. For products such as the Ear Wizard, a nightmarish contraption which burrows into one's ear and collects all the built up wax and stuff. On its commercials, smiling customers marvel at the substances pulled from the depths of their ear canals. Their eyes are glazed and unblinking, their smiles fixed in a grinning grimace, a perfect portrait of a telemarketing zombie or of a politician up for re-election. One crazed loon smiled like a gold prospector from the Yukon, holding his glittering golden prize, cradled at the end of his ear wizard. Or there's the marriage blanket. It's scientifically designed, of course, all these things are scientifically designed, to save a marriage from whichever partner is letting rip with a couple of atomic snorters in bed. Flatulence in the marital bed, apparently, is a danger to wedded bliss. And so this blanket, military strength if you don't mind, magically dissolves any unwanted odours. How? Who on earth knows? Or what about sauna pads? Mmm. Electrically powered garments that you plug into the mains to create a sauna like climate in your shorts so you can sweat the life out of your nether regions. Don't forget the sock slime, some plastic thing that helps you put on your socks from the comfort of your chair so you don't have to bend down and exert yourself. Just slide right on into your socks with this plastic tube which looks as robust as a bubble bath bubble. There are countless other products problem-solving devices to solve non-existent problems, idiotic gadgets, which all seem as if they were designed by the professor from Gilligan's Island on a bad day. Quick fixes and gadget answers so enraptured a pal of mine, one Christmas he decided all his festive shopping was to be done via the rubbish he saw on television. I locked out on the marriage blanket, but he gave that to his wife. It took until Easter to start talking to him again. I received a pair of sauna pants, which are like having your privates or bad jams or family jewels or whatever you might like to call them steamed and boiled like something from a yum cha food trolley. He gave the ear wizard to his uncle, who so loved the thing, he bought one for his wife so they could have a his her set. Apparently, she told my pal, Ron was like a bloody Labrador puppy running up to show me what piece of crap he'd just found. A 75-year-old man giggling about what he'd found in his ear. I asked my chum, who has earned the nickname of Gadge for his love of gadgets, what on earth possessed him to buy such crap? And he said he couldn't have thought of a funnier thing for Christmas gifts. Come on, he said. Come on, big fella. When you got your dim sim steamer Dax, didn't you laugh? I admitted that I had. There you go, said Gadge. Christmas joy. And there's lots more stories like that for you here in Christmas time.